Hello! Hey! I have been having so much trouble with this connecting. Um, it's just aggravating. But I got it working. I didn't feel like doing some design work. Honestly, what I do feel like doing is working on my website. But I'm not going to be doing that on stream because that's a little bit too different from my usual streaming stuff, I guess. I'm just, uh, I, I was doing a little bit of coding before and I'm just going to build my website so that I can then push it live after stream. But anyway, we're going to be working on this. It's been a while since I shared any work on this. I have actually been stitching this um, over the last week. I've been working on it. Uh, I I was nicely reminded at how annoying my <laughs> my hoop is, which you know is a whole thing. But yeah, let's let's do some stitching. Whoops. I will fix my camera. Oh, okay, there we go. Like, why isn't it tightening? Because it was actually open very wide. Whoa! It's not stuck to the desk properly. There we go. Okay. So. It's almost Christmas. How's everyone doing? <laughs> we, we being the people who live in my area, are expecting a big, big dumping of snow tomorrow, which I'm hoping it will just be a little bit patient and, um, allow me to go to an appointment that I have that's you know 15 20 minute drive away so I have my fingers crossed for that I'm just trying to find where I'm at in the pattern yeah okay just making sure that I'm doing the right amount of stitches but yeah it's it's been a while since I worked on this and shared work on it, I guess. Uh, I was actually, I was thinking about when the last time I shared work on this was, and I was actually going through the imagery of um, my floss tube, like the, all the photos that I take as the YouTube thumbnails and stuff. And, and now I can't remember when it was, so I'm going to quickly look it up again. My computer is chugging today. Chug, chug. I'd like to close some things. Let's close Photoshop. And I've got exciting things getting prepared for next year. I am excited. Lost you. Because I, I think this has been, yeah, this has been a thumbnail. The last time it was a thumbnail was the 30th of May, which was Floss Tube 24. And for reference, I'm now up to Floss Tube 38. So that, that would have been roughly the last time I worked on it, I reckon. No, no, because the thumbnail that I see there is... There's so much missing, but it would have been June, I reckon, the last time I worked on it. So that's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. 
I remember to put music on. And I don't know what Spotify is playing the music from. It is not very clear on what playlist is playing. But it is all music that I grew up listening to. Like the stuff that once I became a teenager I wanted to listen to. Oh, I found some floss today. I was surprised about that. I was clearing my desk, getting ready for the stream, because my desk was a bomb. And I found my little welly tin, and inside it had like eight or nine flosses. So that was a relief, because they were some colours that I was very confused as to where they were. So they've been sitting in that tin. Oof, for a few months. I don't even remember the last time I used the tin. And I can't even think of what pattern or piece I was working on based on the colours that were there. I put them all away so I can't like show you which colours are which. But it was browns, there was some beigey yellow colours and a bright red. Okay, that bit is done. So I may have done a cheeky and I signed myself up for another stitch along. Oh, so I'm really uncomfortable today. The legs hurt. So I have to sit on them. That's the logical solution. Um, yeah, I signed myself up for another stitch along and it's the same designer that did this piece that I'll be sharing on my next floss tube which I will point out I'm not sure when I'm going to record because technically it's it's due to release the day after Christmas so I'm thinking that I actually might record it early like way earlier than I normally would and I'll actually do it tomorrow because I don't want to be record I don't want to be editing on Sunday I doubt I want to record I want to sorry I doubt I want to edit or record on Sunday I am I'm doubtful I want to edit Sunday evening and I think on Saturday I'm going to be really busy, so I won't have time to edit or record. And what's happening tomorrow? A oh, Friday, I mean. Friday would be like the latest I'd do it, but that doesn't give me a lot of time to edit because I don't want to edit on the weekend. So yeah, I'm thinking tomorrow... I think that'd be the smart thing to do. Alright, I just gotta find some more spots. Oh, this is the sand colour. Okay, I've got lots to edit. Uh, edit. Pfft. Thinking video still. I just yeah, I'm trying to I want I'm trying to do all the little tiny bits of this colour first, but then all the bottom bit here is um this colour too, but all these stripy bits up here, not all, but most, are this colour as well. And this building, oh my gosh, okay. This is a lot of colour for this one. Uh, what should we start on? We'll do this building.
that was really frustrating. But we got there. Why is that so loose? Uh, oh, sorry. That was loud. Would have been. What's that? Okay. I should probably snooze that notification. My stitchy friends are having a chat and it's distracting me. So let's snooze the notification. Okay. Oh dang it, I was gonna do a story on my Instagram. Tomorrow morning it'd be better anyway. I am um, I know about the the trick of not posting to your stories after the last one that you've done has expired for twenty four hours. Uh, and then the next one you do gains a fair bit more reach so I'm going to use that because I haven't posted my stories in that time frame uh, I'm going to use that reach one to do some exciting uh, cryptic details about stuff that I'm planning Okay, this clip's really annoying me. Oh, wow, well, that's so out of focus. Am I too close? Oh, wow. Sorry. Look at me. Alright, I'm going to get a second clip and just adjust these. There's this clip over here, which you can't see. It's in this corner. It's just... I keep hitting it with my hand. There we go. That's better. Today we had a good day. Me and the fam. We went to a cat cafe. It was so adorable. It's a place in Seattle. Um, and we booked the room to ourselves which was such a good idea 
100% best idea. Um, there was there was 12 cats total, but two of them were hiding. One of them was uh, new to the cat cafe and was still um, acclimatizing. And another one is anti-cats. So he was just like keeping to himself and not wanting to do anything with any and not wanting to have anything to do with anyone. Um but apparently a very sweet cat, but just needs to find a forever home. Which apparently it has. Apparently it uh, that cat in particular is going to be a Christmas gift. So it's going to its forever home Christmas morning. Oh hi. How many cats? There were sorry, I was there was twelve cats. Um it was very cool. Did I just get like a phone call or something? I don't even know. My phone was screen lit up. Anyway. What you stitching? I'm stitching Pretty Little LA. It's been a while. But I'm slowly working through it. And I've discovered that the colour I'm working on is everywhere. Which is fine. It's a um it's the colour for the sand as well as like this building here and all of the well not almost all of but lots of the lines on this and it was uh over here and it was down in this bit here. Um it's in the little cars which you can't see they're off screen and yeah and it's the sand. So I'm doing the sand a bit last. I thought I recognized it. Yeah. So I've been, I picked this up over the weekend, I think. Because uh, it had been a while and I finished my little black work piece that I was working on. Which is so much faster than I expected it would take. I gotta finish it in the hoop tomorrow. As I was, I was just talking about when I'm gonna record my floss tube because it's going, it's supposed to be up for watching on Boxing Day if I keep to my schedule. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna record it tomorrow, even though that's a bit earlier than I normally would, and that'll give me time to edit. Plus I need to wash my hair tomorrow, so my hair will be nice and busy. Oh wow! Did you mount those yourself? Those are cute. Good job. God, they must be huge because you did them on 14 count. They're on card. Yeah, I can see. But did you mount them yourself? I've been thinking that I will try um, finding a framer for my work. Not not the little pieces that I do that go in a hoop, but stuff like this. And like the Haunted Library when I finish it. And this new stitch along that I'm going to start in January 
and this other piece that I've started that I'm going to share on my FOSS tube, which is not exciting to look at right now. <laughs> A4 card with about two inches off the side. Nice work. Oop, I'm running out of FOSS. I also want to find a a local fair fate something for next year so that I can submit work to and get ribbons because I want ribbons. <laughs> I'm assuming I will get ribbons. It's a bit full of myself there. Uh, I need my floss. Oops. Eh. I've been looking and it feels like the only places that have places are things that you can submit work to are in more like rural America or Central America not Central America yeah, Central United States, I guess. Which doesn't help me because I'm not very central. I have a lot of work I want to do on my desk <laughs> during the daylight. Um, so I'm trying to loop the back. Hang on. <gasps> I broke the fourth wall. You can see the project bag. Yeah, I've got I've got plans for next year. I've got exciting things that's happening. Hopefully exciting. I'm nervous. Trying stuff. Lilydale is hardly central either, I guess. Yeah. That's, that's basically what I want to do. I want to have a Lilydale show in Snoqualmie. <laughs> I'd even go I'd even travel slight you know for a, in the in some direction and I want to do community stuff one thing I've been thinking of doing is printing my own flyers and sticking them in some mailboxes around the place. Like, hey, would you like these? I like making them, and I like money. Send them to me, and I'll enter here. <laughs> Exactly. Should do that. It wouldn't be expensive at all. <laughs> Pay for you to get it framed somewhere and then leave the frame there. So mail it rolled up. You can mail it back to me all rolled up.
complicated at all. Exactly. I don't know what I'd enter, I'll be honest. I'd probably be more inclined to enter something that I've designed and stitched and probably even embroidery. Because I don't know, entering someone else's design and entering a cross stitch just seems, yeah, kind of lame. Kids excited about Christmas. Yes, Alex today kept saying over and over, I wish it was the day before Christmas tomorrow. Not today, tomorrow. We tried to explain the the fact that today is Christmas Eve, 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 Eve. She didn't understand. <laughs> I've got more presents to wrap. I have three boxes from family, most likely you included, uh, that I haven't opened yet. Because I, last night was in the zone working on this exciting stuff that's happening next year. And um, then I forgot that today's Wednesday and so I was it's here. And I don't want to do it during the day. I can't say I'm surprised. I have to think that through. Ah. Oh. She started to get it. Oh. Just stretch the back out a bit. Excuse me. Oh man, it's only 10 o'clock. I finished Cam's quilt this other. Good timing. When is family coming? Because I assume that family are coming at some point to your place. Sunday. Perfect. We're planning on making cookies either Friday or Saturday so that we can decorate some for Santa on Saturday. We have bought a leg of lamb. Alex now has decided that lamb is the best meat. And I agree, but it sucks for her because lamb is very expensive in this country. Will do. Oh, I should send you the photos I got today. I haven't really looked at them yet myself. Josh got a couple, so there's a few of me as well. Mm -hmm. 
Alex wanted me to take photos of her with all the cats at the end. So there's lots of Alex. It will be on the menu when you come for a visit. Awesome. Sorry, it took me a second to understand that. I just have to like rewind in my head. I should move this over. For sure. You get to see the camera in the shot, but whatever. Now I'm not like all the way off to the side. <laughs> okay, so you oh, excuse me. Yes, what I was saying before, I uh have to reorganize my desk. I have two three actually, three things I need to build to help my desk be a bit more functional and I have like all of this stuff is going to be not all actually most of this stuff is going to be removed uh, because one of the things replaces like three of the things that I have here that was my Christmas present now I'm excited But I, I'm also planning on moving, because like my, I've got my main monitor here, I've got my second monitor up here, and it's it's vertical one. And I'm going to be moving them all over slightly, so they're not right up against the edge of the desk. Uh, and I'm finally going to install the third monitor which is going to be small and it's it's going to be mostly for streaming so it's going to be up there and it'll have my information on my stream uh, yeah and what's the other things the so the second thing to build is the arm for the third monitor that's going to replace the one that I got that wasn't big enough um, I I still have that attached to my desk. I need to send it back. And then the third thing that I need to build is a little desk shelving unit, and that's going to go on the side over there once everything's moved over. So it should be good. I I don't have a lot of room, and it's it's definitely been a a whole process of trying to figure out the best way to utilize the space that I have. So it'll be amazing when I come soon then. Ho yes, it should be, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Oh, I like this song too. This one can go in the playlist. It'll be nice to not have so many arms sticking out of my desk, though. 
there should only be sort of one and a half after all this stuff's been set up. Because I say a half because one of them is technically a lamp as well. So it has a double purpose. Apparently it's really, really windy outside right now. And there's really big wind chill. No, we gotta cut that off now. Wow, it's so delayed. Oh my gosh. I keep noticing it. The um the camera feed is, is delayed by like a whole second. Wonder what it'll be like in February. My desk, do you mean? Or the weather. Yeah, I can't remember what February was like last year. This year, I keep saying last year for stuff. Like I'm talking about, I've been talking about the girls' birthdays and stuff lately. For whatever reason, I can't even remember. Um, and I keep saying last year for their birthdays that happened this year. I'm like, I'm way ahead of myself. I'm already thinking it's 2023, apparently. Slow down, brain. Oh, don't do that. I hate when it does that. It's going fast enough, it really is. It really is. My fabric's already really loose again. This hoop is just crappy. Ah, oh. <laughs> I hate when I do that. Ah, especially when it's on stream because it's just so frustrating to put the fabric, the fabric, the floss back on. <sighs> anyway. I'm pulling so gently to Okay. Oh, mum, you don't follow me. Well, you do follow, but you don't use Instagram um as much as I post. So, I as an update, I gifted the martial arts piece uh, last week I went to when my normal Thursday class is uh, I, I'd like went in to the studio halfway through the class and uh, I gave it to one of the owners um, who also had one of the instructors uh, sitting with her and she loved it so much that when I went in on Monday for Alex's class, she had put it up on the wall. Like she, she stuck a nail in the wall and put it and hung it up. And I'm like, 
Ah, oh, that's amazing. So yeah. When I go in next, I'm going to take a picture of it up on their wall. I was going to do it today, but um Alex wanted to have a break from martial arts tonight and I was like yeah I'm not sad about this because driving in the ice because it's not snow on the road right now it's not fun so she didn't go to class tonight I haven't finished editing the photos of that. I've got so many, so many photos to edit. I just, I need more hours in the day. That would be great. And I need to, some children of mine to be a little bit more chill. And let me sit at my computer unhindered to work through some of the things I have. Josh's first day of holidays was today. But he's been he's had two very very easy days of work. Yesterday and Monday. So I've got a knot in the back. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> now I got the freaking hiccups. Git. Go on, git. No one wants you. There we go. This is so loose. Stop wiggling. Is this even in focus? Oh my god, I need to move it. <sighs> oh wait, I just hit a thing. No, I'm good. I'm a professional streamer. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I know what what things do and how to keep my work in frame and all that kind of jazz. I'm very clever. Did I do that? 
Wow, it's so delayed. <laughs> Just watching the the webcam feed, which is this camera here, compared to this camera here. This is so delayed. <laughs> I don't know what has caused that, but all I know is if I mess with it, I'm going to have issues, seeing as it took me ages just to get the damn thing working today. So I, I discovered something that I thought was a bit strange about this pattern. It's more delay between my phone and the iPad. Oh god. Um, that there was only uh, 16 stitches of a dark brown in this. The, the wheels here. There's another car like over there and I could not I was like I could not believe that there was only that few stitches in a color and I was just basically what looking at every single line of the pattern trying to find another instance of that color and I could not find one yeah exactly it's working don't don't mess with it if it's working I just, I didn't feel like working on a design, like basically streaming digitally stuff, digital stuff. Um, I wanted to stitch. Because I felt like if I was going to do something computerized that I would have preferred to work on my website. Uh, no, this one here. And yeah, like I said at the start of the stream, if I'm going to work on my website, I'm not going to stream that because coding is not two little kids. It is part of a thing that I do, but it is not part of a thing that my target audience would be interested in basically the content I hope is interesting because it's relevant but um yeah not not web development <laughs> On holiday. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I got to do before I go to bed. Every stream before I go to bed, I make sure that this uploads to YouTube because that takes like twice as long as the actual stream is basically so today's stream uh, won't take as long because I started after nine o'clock but it will it will be like three hours for it to upload um, and also before I go to bed tonight I am gonna push a update on my website because I have a blog post to push. I just need to do something real quick. Yeah.
No. Thank you. I think we go all the way over there. No, wrong line. This one down here. Uh, but not all the way in. That one. Yep, that one. So we have things that we have to do around the house, like we have to um, probably hire people to do. The girls' wardrobes are falling apart, like the 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 built-in robe bit. Charlie's pajama drawer is currently sitting on the floor because it has broken right off. And the way that they were built, it has to be attached. Like the drawer actually has to be attached to the whole thing. Um, you don't just, you can't just like pull it out easily and I don't know, clean it or something. Um, and yeah, the whole thing snapped out. So she has a drawer on her floor in her bedroom, and Alex lent on one of her drawers like she was using it to hold herself up in a way, like putting her whole body weight on it and it snapped, but we Josh managed to sort of jerry-rig that one to go back in, but she can't use it. But Charlie's is completely busted. I think she was uh, swinging on it too slightly, to be honest, but I actually saw Alex break hers. And they're just, the design of them are just terrible. I think it's completely useless. Two, for, for Alex it's not so bad. Two hanging areas that are in reach for her is decent. But then there's more hanging areas that they can't reach. Maybe just be more useful if it was shelving or something. And eventually which is a much bigger job. We want to redo the whole kitchen. We do not like so much of the kitchen. And ideally, we basically eat into what's behind me, which is the master robe. Because the master robe is ridiculously big. And it would we would like eat into it so that this room would have like a little corridor install a window if we'd be allowed to and then I'd have like a little hallway in a way tucked away for my stuff I'd have more wall space that I could decorate I'd have a you know a big window that could give me natural light yeah you got things that we need to do but before all that we need to get new cars, or at least one new car. Because not having a car that has uh, all-wheel drive is really scary. And I said to Josh in the car today that I know it's not a really simple thing to do, um, and it's you know, money, but I really want to do something about my car before next winter. Yep, this one can go in as well.
Alright, we're going to change the stitching style. I'd rather not skip over these four squares twice. I just found a stitch that is upside down. Oh my god. The top stitch is the wrong way. How have I managed to mess that up? Oh, I'll have to... I th think... Because you can't actually see the other stitch underneath it unless you move the, fa the floss. I might just go in and, and do it add the top stitch again. But that is... It's amateurish. I shouldn't have done that. I haven't done that in forever. I was just looking at him like, that's totally the wrong way. Like, the the grain of it, I guess. I'll have to figure out which colour that is. There is one stitch that I have over here. This one right here that is only half a stitch because um, it's the wrong colour in that spot and I realised after so I had done the first line of the of the the first row of the crosses and then I had to cut off the floss and I was too lazy to then undo it and go back to a point where I could then um, re-anchor it and then redo it. So because it's such a light colour, I just kept it at half a stitch and then I'm just going to go over the top of it. So that one's deliberate. That one I know about. It's in this colour that I'm working on right now. I did that the other day and there was only half completed one. one. Well, see, that's okay. Half completed is not... Like, it's totally understandable. Especially when I'm working on 18 count. <laughs> it's so tiny. I have... you can you, There is visible one where I've actually done the right colour on top of a full stitch. Because trying to undo the whole thing around it was just going to be a nightmare. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to point it out. <laughs> I MacGyver my patterns every now and then. My, my work's in progress. I have to... So yeah. Hack and slash at them a little bit. All right, we've done that little bit. Is there anything near that? No, all right, we're gonna flip. It's a time, okay. We got more time. We'll start on this next building. Mm-hmm. 
more thunder. It's coming! It's coming for you. Okay, directly under the white. realize that I'm in a new position now. Dog thinks so. <laughs> Poor Pixie. We gotta skip every other one. I'm paying attention to the pattern, I'm so clever. It does feel like that sometimes. I need to give myself kudos for actually following the pattern instead of just assuming that I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, exactly. Did a bit of reverse sewing on that one at times. Yeah, makes sense. There's a lot of color changes in this little section. And then we go all the way across. And then we run out of floss. And then we need some more. Well, this is turning into a bit of floss chicken right here. I really shouldn't because it's kind of fluffy floss. Should be right. Whoops. Oh, we almost lost it on the needle. There we go.
My Oort Jar is looking very, very full this year. I have been considering changing how I demonstrate my Oorts over the years, by the way, to not to jars, because the jars just don't really show everything. Obviously, there's a, there's a whole bit in the middle that you don't see. Um, but actually squashing them into a frame. I still can't find my Oort Jar from 2018. I don't know where that's gone to. I'm a bit upset about that, actually. But I have 2019, 2020, 2021. They're all up there. And 2022 is obviously still happening. Not for very long, though. But I, I think squashing them into a frame could be really cool. I would take them out very, very gingerly because if I just sort of haphazardly grab it, then uh, I can't really see the like the collection as it's grown. Oh, but this is I'll move this out of the way for a sec. So it's pretty full. It does actually have I've got bits in here that I can add. Drip, drip, drip. And there's stuff in the car. There's a lot in the car, actually. Um, but like, I can see projects in this. But you can't see what's in the middle. So I think that would be cool. At least you don't have a gap yet. Exactly. That's that's kind of the only saving grace. I've got... I'm pretty sure I've only got three up there. Hang on. Whoops. Knocking over my light. Make sure that I'm not flashing everybody. Yeah, there's just three up here. Yeah. God, they're really dusty. <laughs> I was just trying to figure out which one's which. I know that the big one is last year. I'm pretty sure it goes up in size. I'll pull them down since I'm looking at them. I'll share. So I believe this one's 2019. So it's very little. But there is a lot squashed in there. So a lot of that is um, uh, Overwatch pieces. Yeah. So it's that one. This is 2020. And as you can see, that like you can't see into the middle of them. And then this is last year's one. Like this is the same, uh, same size jar as what I've got this year. I actually had I had a smaller jar that's up there. Some reason I thought I could squash it all into a jar that's like this size, and then I got to about August, and I was like, it doesn't fit anymore, because <laughs> last year I did a lot of stitch alongs, um, so there's a lot of cuts of floss in this one, uh, especially just ones that have lots of six strand cuts. Um, and like there's there's two fluffy bits and then there's a black fluffy bit the black one is actually me cutting out a bunch of work but the two white fluffy bits are um, uh, turkey work that I did on a dog and it's two because it's a portrait that I had to stitch twice so I had to do the dog twice anyway so those, there's those The 2018 one is the same size jar as the 2019 one, so it's small. But I'm I would not have thrown it out, and and Josh wouldn't have thrown it out. Um, the only thing I could think of was maybe like the movers smashed it and threw it out because they were embarrassed or something. I don't I don't know, but 
it went missing on the move from California to Washington. Text of the year on the bottom. I it's I I wrote it the year on the 2018 one, which is why I know that's the one that's missing. But I didn't want to write on them. I should just put it on a bit of sticky tape. I didn't want to write the year on them because I didn't know how I wanted to display them eventually. And so I didn't want to like commit. Thought you were going to say the black was your brother. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> yeah, they're very cool. I I don't re I don't have any ability to explain why I like them. Um and I I don't have any way of explaining like what made me start keeping them all. It was basically, I started keeping them pretty much as soon as I re-picked up stitching back in 2018. See, I was going to do a Christmas ornament, but I don't want them to only be seen at Christmas time. I even bought plastic baubles, like empty plastic baubles, to, to do that in. And then, yeah, when I realized that that would mean I only look at them at Christmas, I was like, no, that's not what I want. Oh, hair. No, it's it's black. He, Chris doesn't have black hair. He's got dark brown hair. Is it really windy? Oh yeah it is. Oh and it's raining. And it's cold. <laughs> no, I, I understand. Um it's okay. Uh it wouldn't be that far down in the the jar as well. The dog for comparison, the first time I stitched it was in March, and then the second time I stitched it was in April. I just realized something that I need to do tonight as well because I keep forgetting and the later I leave it the more difficult it's going to be. So I might stop as soon as I run out of floss if that's before 15 minutes away. What I want you got but be hard to handle. Why is the end of my needle so sharp? Like the eye of the needle end just feels really sharp. It keeps poking me in the finger. You make my dreams come true. light is that? Oh, it's the ring, tiny ring light. What if I go like that? There we go. Oh, 
I have three lights on me. Oh yeah, making my dreams come true. Do 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 do. Oh, stop yawning, me. I went to the mall with the girls on Monday, which in hindsight was a terrible um, date to get their hair cut. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to get it done and I was like, oh, okay, well, we've got appointment times that work on that day and let's just get it done. And yeah, we survived. But, um, and the girls on, like, to give them credit, they did amazing. But I, I also realized, oh, well, we're there. There's lots of different sh stores. Why don't we plan on getting presents from them for Josh? <laughs> yeah, they did good. And it it honestly was nice to to go and do something like that uh, with them by myself. It's it's a uh, it helps me to remember, like just well not remember but to be reminded and and shown how much they've grown. Especially Charlie, because yeah, a situation like that is really hard for her. And she did really well, considering who she is. Plus, it tired them out in the end. And, um, tired me out too. But we had a pretty chill time after we got home. The pig, they pigs, yes, they did. The things that they think of to get him is very amusing. Yeah, um, Alex picked a beanie to give him because now that Josh has lost a lot of weight, he gets cold a lot and very easily. So he wears a beanie a lot of the, like, most days. Um, even basically when it's not summer, he wears a beanie. Um, so, you know, she had thought into it. Uh, but the reason she picked that one was because it matched her jumper that she was wearing at the time. Um, and Charlie picked a book. I don't even remember what the book's about. But it was just so abstract. And like I, you know, I directed her towards other things that maybe he would like that would make more sense from her. And no, she was adamant about this book. I'm like, okay, okay. So yeah, I, I'd already got uh, socks to wrap 
from them for him because he asked he, he gave me a list I asked him to give me a list of ideas um, of things that they could look for to give him and yeah one of the things at the top of the list was novelty socks like, cool we can do that ow sorry my foot's hurting me where to go girl dad needs that one exactly exactly all right well I've ran out of floss so I'm gonna wrap it up there plus it's almost 11 anyway let's zoom out and have a look it's getting there I did the the since I picked it up again I did the the dark brown that you can see that I was talking about before the dark blue that's sort of every everywhere and this orange that's around the sun and it's like over here and down here and it was in this bit yeah and now I'm working on the other just like tan pinky color which is through here and we just did that and it's over here and it's all at the bottom so yeah woohoo I would say I'm like two-thirds of the way through this piece sure as I'm going to do I'm going to concentrate on getting tea done makes sense it's weird to for you to be doing dinner when it's my bedtime I'm used to the the other way around with the uh, daylight savings I love the design she makes as well me too I'm looking forward to getting this one done and getting started on this Yaddle one actually yeah anyway thank you everyone for watching whether you watched uh, and inside like quietly uh, live or if you've watched this on YouTube after the fact I have like I've said through the stream I've got a lot of exciting things that I have planned for next year so if you want to follow along with that either follow me on Instagram or just keep an eye on my website uh, I am very nervous about all these things that I have planned so any positive feedback any excitement anything like that is greatly appreciated but anyway thanks very much for watching and i'll see you on the internet bye